What's up guys, Harry here and welcome to episode 1 of Harry's Hybrids. Uh, this series isn't one I'm planning on doing consistently, it's just every now and then if I've built a nice team and I want to show it off to you guys, I can do in this format. Today we're playing a 4-3-3 formation, uh, which in my opinion is the best formation in the game. I might go more in depth on it on a different video, uh, but starting off in goal we have Velt Huizen. He's got 80 reflexes, but as shown in this clip it feels a lot more. As you can see the guy tries to tramp it across and he somehow managed to save it onto the post. And that's just an example of why I think he's a fantastic keeper and I would highly recommend you guys try him out. Our first centre back here is Man Sien. He has got 74 pace, 72 defending and 77 heading, which is all you really want to see on a silver centre back. He is very good and he's also English playing in the Bundesliga, so he's great for building hybrids around. Our second centre back is Verhaven. He's got 75 pace, uh, 75 defending. A 63 heading lets him down quite a bit. He's not very good in the air, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Our right back plays for the same club as our centre back, Johansson. He's got 84 pace and I'm not too sure of what his uh, work rates are, but he seems to stay back quite a lot and I like that in a right back and a left back as well because uh, it, mean, it means defending is a lot easier. Unfortunately, I can't say the same about Rose. His stats here are really good. He's got 82 pace, uh, 73 dribbling and 70 defending. He's also got 71 passing, uh, but he feels he gets off the pitch far too much. He always seems to be playing a left mid position and I would like it if he stayed back a bit more. Our centre mid here, our first centre mid is Gary Gardner. I could have got Craig Gardner, uh, but I went with Gary Gardner purely because he, he uh, isn't as expensive. He's like 10k, uh, for, which for what you get is very good. He's got 69 pace and 79 shooting and fantastic long shots. Our central centre midfield uh, here is Van der Vaart. He's got 64 pace, but it feels a lot more. 84 shooting, 85 passing, 83 dribbling. And all in all, a fantastic central midfielder uh, that I really would re recommend you try him out. He only goes for like 10k, uh, which is quite a good price to say he's 87 rated and it's the start of the game. Our last centre mid here is Kalstrom. Uh, 84 passing is his main stat there. He's also got a pretty good long shot and he's left footed, uh, playing on the left central midfielder spot. Our right wing here. I really, really enjoy using McGeady in this game. He's got 91 pace, 71 shooting, which feels a lot more, and 86 dribbling uh, with those lovely five-star skills. Our striker here, uh, Olatrophic, I think I messed up his name last year. I'm probably going to mess it up this year as well. He's got 80 pace, 77 shooting, and 82 dribbling. He's six foot four as well, as you can see there. He's got four-star skills and all in all, a fantastic all-around striker. Our final player here is Elia. Love this player back in FIFA 12 and just as much in FIFA 13. He's got 91 pace, 85 dribbling with the five-star skills, and he's 68 shooting. It's the biggest lie you could have ever seen. Plays like an absolute god for me, and all in all, this team was a fantastic team to use. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I've left you with a few goals, and I will see you guys next time. Tonight and hope that I will dream To get me out this place and onto better things Because I tried so hard and got so far To let this slip away And I refuse to let someone put out my flame You gotta drive my charter Hold me underwater 